Hi everyone and welcome back to another Work No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to a should you pull for Awakened Yumina. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now what's interesting with this update is that we only got Chifuyu, Nanahara, Yang Harim, and Gaiyun are on the normal banners. Well, the only one added was technically Chifuyu, Nanahara. And I feel that you really shouldn't have to pull for her. And she is a great unit. I don't think you need her. And then Awakened Yumina, she's going to be the premier character. When it comes to this, she's absolutely phenomenal. She has really great stats because she's an awakened unit she has a bunch of immunities to hit stun only for the first six seconds when she's deployed and also gets a little bit of attack speed for six seconds and then she also has a decent aoe with her sword blaster and a decent like damage for her wolfsbane legacy honestly she is more of an attack based character is she going to be no she's going to be a striker so she's going to have pretty decent evasion 667 isn't the highest but it's also not the worst from what i can tell and let's go ahead and look at her abilities when it comes to practice i don't think she is as flashy as awakened hill day like look at this when she appears yes she does like the little dashes just like awakened hill day and of course she shows her presence right there and then she's going to be that's her like special skill or that one skill that she always been using and then let's go ahead and use her ultimate right here personally feeling her animations are okay now it's definitely better than someone like dominant king reginald but overall i like her and she attacks very very quickly right there like she's attacking way faster than before for. I like her. I feel like she's worthy to pull. She works with Rhino Comp and that's the main reason. But let's go ahead and look at some things before we do some pulls. So just a couple of things. The dive coordinates will be reset soon. So make sure to do your dives. I think that's already actually happened. And then we have the new event operation for her, which is Yumi Na. So we're probably going to get some limit break materials from that as we always do. And then Shifuyu Nanahara is also in the banners as you guys saw earlier. But without further ado, I want to pull for Waifu. I want to pull for Yumina. If I don't get her, well, these pulls will go to the next banner. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what our first multi is going to entail. Yes, Awakened Yumina. It'd be super... Okay, the three of them are here. Does that mean you are here? Are you home? Double. Helicopter. Okay, no. It's just purple. I will definitely take those. Ooh, yes. Kim So Bin. Amazing unit, by the way. Oh, I actually haven't had a Choi Ina copy. I... Does it say new? Oh, okay. Maybe I did get a copy of her. But that's always nice to get two SR characters. Let's go ahead and do another pull. Awakened Yumina are you going to be coming home. Yes. Okay. The three of you are here. I like to see it. That is a good. Okay. Yeah, it's yellow. Let's see who's it going to be. And that's Gai Yoon. Okay. Gai Yoon is actually really amazing. I've been looking for her. I did try to pull for Gai Yoon on her banner when she first initially released. So yeah, she's busted like anyone who has Gai Yoon. Like if you pulled Gai Yoon before she like got noticed as an op character i'm pretty sure you realize that she was essentially like the better version of all the ranger units and not to mention she is able to kill rosaria okay so this is going to be sr right here very nice i do not have the arachne i think yes Finally, I have that character. I don't think I have this character, Mia. So that is pretty dope. She has been on my radar for quite a bit. So we are already down to three multis here trying to get awakened, Yumina. I have hope that she will come home. If not, then I will have more pulls essentially saved for, you know, the next week and the next week and the next week. Because I like how these pulls essentially stack until you eventually get an awakened unit. I try to trick them. You know, I try to punk fake them in order to give me something else, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. We are blazing through these summons right now. Can I get something cool? Please, all God almighty. All right, the three of you are here. That means it's at least a purple. So let's go ahead and get in here. Okay, no, it's still purple. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, we got the helicopters. I've been seeing some meme teams with that one. So that is pretty cool. And let's try one more time. So you, Mina, you are the Awakened Striker, Jushi Young, Chifu Yunanahar, Karen Wong. Rosaria is actually raid up. That is weird. Gaiyun is in this banner, but she's not even raid up, but I got her. Whatever. It's absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and pull the character that we need. Who is it going to be? Is it you, Awakened you, Mina? If you are here, it was Destiny. If you are not here, it's absolutely fine. We'll try again next week when we have more polls all right so no dice right here if i can scrounge some tickets left over then i definitely will all right so here's going to be some footage of me getting the rest of the seasonal tickets by that i mean if you go into the gauntlet shop i have 22,000 tickets right here we're gonna go ahead and purchase everything from the shop
shop. This is just to get a rough idea of how much everything is going to cost in order to finally acquire those coveted black tickets in order to do more awakened summons or classified summons. Now, when it comes to this, I feel like it's a pretty fair price. It's going to be roughly 16,000. It'll dwindle down to roughly 7,000 from this 22,000. And my thoughts are is it is definitely acquirable for free to play if you manage to reach gold five within the month. All right. And then once you have hit gold five, you expend all 600 of your gauntlet points that you usually get roughly like throughout the day. And by that, it's like the 600 like stamina arena points that you get. And as you can see here, we're just buying everything up. The most expensive things being like the SAPT cores, which makes a lot of sense. But overall, everything else is pretty negligible as far as cost goes and this also goes to show how valuable sapt cores are and where you should be spending most of your tickets for simulation i think a lot of people already know this i just wanted to give more of a visualization and as you can see here we're down to eleven thousand, and then we purchase all of these we have the 4800 tickets essentially or 4800 gauntlet points essentially expended right there so i'm pretty happy with that overall turnout let's go ahead and jump into some other things so we are now here in the world map if you actually go into dive right here what's really interesting is that you can see we have the reset coordinates now before you use the reset coordinates i want us to at least be able to clear like 40 or most of this and then once you use it let's go ahead and do this we will go back to the original and we will have essentially the 40 coordinates left to us which will provide us a lot of extra resources that everyone probably needs so make sure to do that for the reset coordinates that we talked about earlier let's go ahead and jump into some pvp as we always do because this is going to be the things that I wanted to talk about. So when it comes to this week's bans, Rosaria finally has ban two. Chief Yu Nanahara is ban two, kind of interesting. She is right up. Elizabeth Pendragon being ban one sort of leaves her unusable. In some ways, Einzen's way still can be used at ban two if you want to, but honestly, there's better alternatives. And then we have these on ban two, the Enterprise and Lake Superior. Enterprise is an absolute beast. You can use him for like strategy ranked battle, and that will be pretty good. And then Seo Yun Choi ina and scout i think seiyun is going to be pretty cool and choi ina scout of course is actually really amazing as well let's go ahead and look at my strategy battle really quick so some of you are probably wondering like yeah i'm still like playing the game and everything and the ship enterprise is absolutely carrying my wins when it comes to this i was using the gauntlet for that particular fight but the thing that i wanted to show the most is i've been having like a crazy win streak as of late so you know the enterprise is the main reason why i'm winning if you can get the enterprise because because even if you can't use it for ranked PvP, it's going to help you tons with strategy battle, all right? So let's go ahead and do some PvP right here. We're definitely going to be changing this bad boy out because that is not the ship I want to run. Glepnir is definitely serviceable, but honestly, when it comes down to these things, I really don't like play with like PvP like this anymore. Like I don't, I don't touch it. I usually just stay in gold five and be happy with what I can get at the end of the day. Oh, I might just let this person win because they're almost at the gold five rank they have five consecutive wins not to mention they have awakened hill day and i don't have any awakened units so most likely i won't even be able to stop them if i wanted to so let's go ahead and drop our I forget her name. It's been so long since I've tried to play everything. Well, let's go ahead and try to do this. Here is Awakened Hilde ready to crush us and I'll be okay with it. But Ganyun may be able to deal some damage right here, which is gonna be nice to see. Ooh, they do have an enemy Ganyun. Let's go ahead and drop this bad boy right here and then drop Kao Wang. Oh my God, they have both of the Awakened units. This fight is going to be a GG's right here. Damn, look at that. Look at that power. Oh my God. God. Yeah, there is nothing that I can do against that. It really goes to show how strong they are. And there's a reason why they're probably climbing ranks and they have five consecutive wins. These awakened units, they definitely change up PvP. And if you're lucky enough to get them, then it's pretty cool. I'm, a, I'm just chilling at gold five and that's going to be what I'm doing. I would show like more fights, but honestly, it's just going to be like the same thing. If I see an awakened unit, I'm essentially going to be crushed at the end of the day. Yes, they're a game changer, but to me, I'm collecting gauntlet points, so it's not not that bad and as far as like updates are gonna go for counter side unless there's like a huge update or a tip that i feel like that needs to be covered i'm probably gonna slow down on the content for it we're essentially just waiting for like more quality of life we're waiting for you know more 
characters to be added we're waiting for global so as those things come i'll cover it but for the most part you guys have like guitar rock who's been killing it with like the counterside content so feel free to check him out there's definitely more people who's still covering counterside i'm still here i'll cover the game i'm still playing like i'm still going into like my guilds and pretty much donating and everything right i'm still playing counterside i want to let you guys know that but i won't be covering it as frequently unless you guys really want me to cover something i definitely will anyways if you made it this far in today's video consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch follow me on twitter don't forget to jump here into the dives and reset once you have hit 40 and yeah good luck on all your polls if you are doing any for awakened yumina and i will see you in the next one